three techniques to reduce stress and anxiety. Hi everyone, today I would like to share three techniques with you to help you reduce stress and anxiety. Before we start, I would like to share a little bit of the scientific background with you to let you know why they work. So maybe you're feeling anxious when it comes to exam times or networking with other people, or even when you feel that your parents keep yelling at you or forcing you to do something, and you're in this state where you feel like you can't do anything, nothing is going right, or you feel like there's no other way for you to choose. And this feeling that just keeps popping up and you don't know what to do with it. What happens is our brain loves to make things very efficient. So once we have had a previous experience, our brain will start picking up on we're in the same situation again. So the feeling is going to make it faster and faster. And each time it comes up, it will automatically goes bam, it will turn on. So what is really happening in the head is that all these points in our brain lights up. It creates a very deep, habituated reaction to the stimulus. And so what happens is maybe just hearing the word that you have an, an exam coming up or you have to go talk to this person or you just have a look from your parents' face, all of these will start lighting up the network and it will create this anxious feeling inside of you or stressed out feeling inside of you or worried or frustration. It all comes up because of all these neural network coming up. And so with the three techniques that I'm going to share with you, the most important thing is for us to interrupt us going down this path. Every time it comes up, we're going to put a stop sign on it so that we can force our brain to create new ways of thinking, new ways of feeling so that we can make ourselves feel better, help us think of solving this problem another way. So these three techniques are meant to once again, put up that stop sign to interrupt that feeling. Okay. So the three techniques that I'll be sharing with you are one, bilateral stimulation, two, peripheral vision, and three, faster EFT. I'm very excited to share them with you. One, bilateral stimulation. So before we start, I would like to invite you to just look around your environment to see if there is something small that you can hold within your hand. Maybe it will be like a marble. Like for me, it's like an, a marble. Or maybe you have a um, hair tie or maybe even like an AirPod case that you can hold onto within your hand. Now, this is a great tool for you to use when, for example, you're um, behind a desk or away from people and you can do this quite discreetly on your own. So I would like to invite you to just think about a, a something that can cause a little bit of anxiety within you. So maybe think about, oh, there's an exam coming up or Oh, I have to speak up to do a presentation. Or maybe you have something that you have to tell your mom and you didn't want to do that, okay? So just think of something that has that a little bit anxiety or stress feeling within your body. And then once you have it, then pick up the object and we're going to start doing a bilateral simulation, which is literally passing the object from the right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. And so as you're doing this, I would just like to invite you just do a quick body scan and see how you're feeling right now. Chances are you're feeling a little bit better. And why it's working is because the anxiety that is lit up within the brain, it usually comes on at a specific point in your brain. And so with this motion, what happens is it diffuses all those activities throughout both sides of the brain. And so that feeling cannot keep itself together. And so you can do this, for example, underneath the desk, maybe the next person that will be going on um, to present is you and you can pass this object underneath the desk. Or if let's say you really don't have an object, what you can do is you can just do this. It's kind of like stretching your wrist, but you try to pass it along the midline. Or for little kids, you can teach them to stomp 
left side, right side, left side, right side to help calm them down. Um, you can also even get a small ball that they can pass between their feet, go left side, right side, and see and tell them, challenge them to see how many times they can pass the ball between the legs. Okay, so that's bilateral stimulation. Number two, peripheral vision. So with this technique, what I'm going to ask you to do is just look away from the screen for a moment and look around your surrounding and see if there is a point that you can find a focus on. And just stare at it for a moment. And I would like to invite you to just relax the muscles around your eyes and see if you can expand your vision so that you can see more of the ceiling, more of the floor. Without moving your eyes, see if you can expand to see more of the side. And breathe in and out. And see more and more until you can see the back of your head. And I would like to ask, how does that feel like in your body? Chances are you may find yourself relaxing and the noises in your head or even the noises around you have lessened in the, in the volume. And so why it works is because a lot of times when our nervous system gets activated, our vision becomes very focused because we want to go into a fight or flight response. So we just want to make sure that we're safe and whether we have to go on and, and fight with that person or we're just going to run away from it. And it's only when our body is in a relaxed state, that's when we can access our peripheral vision. And so with this technique, we're actually going backwards to trick our body into thinking, hey, right now, things are safe. Nothing's going to hurt us. And so we're relaxing our body and we can access this peripheral vision. And so it calms our body down. So this technique is great because you can really use it anywhere. Anytime you feel like there's a lot of noise in your head, thinking so much, I have to do this, I have to do this. So just when you catch yourself doing that, just take a moment and just do a peripheral vision. And so you'll find yourself be able to calm your mind down for a little bit. Or if you feel anxious going from one place to another, and while you're walking down the street, you can just take a moment to just go, I'm just going to see what I can see from the side of my eyes. Or even maybe when you're in conversation with someone that you find kind of boring and you don't want to be there, but you still need to be there. And you can just nod and you can do a peripheral vision and just drown out the voice a little bit. So this is peripheral vision. Three, faster EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And what that is, is tapping on certain parts of your body so that it can release some of those feelings that you have inside your body. Now, this technique is created for people who are from New York, living in a New York pace. It's very fast. So this technique is supposed to be fast. And so there's no excuse for them not to use it. So before we start, I would like to ask you to think about something, an event that happened that made you frustrated or anxious or agitated. Just think about that for a moment. And when you get that feeling, I would just like you to rate it from a scale of one to 10, one being eh, just a little bit to 10 very much. So how would you rate that and give it a number? And when you have it, I would like to see if you can crank it up, maybe two notches. And once you have this feeling, I'd like you to follow me. Tap the top of the head. I let this feeling go. And between your eyebrows, I let this feeling go. On the side temple, I let this feeling go. And right under the eye, I let this feeling go. And on the chest, between the collarbone, I let this feeling go. And then wrap your finger around the points on the wrist 
and breathe in and breathe out twice as long. Breathe in and breathe out twice as long. Just do a quick body scan and see how you're feeling. Chances are it has gone down a little bit and you can do a few more rounds to take this edge off, okay? So the top of the head, between the eyebrows, on the temple, underneath the eye, between the collarbones on the chest, and then around the wrist and breathe in and out twice as long. And if let's say right at the moment you don't actually have a chance to do this tapping, one of the points is right here, the karate chop point, and you can just tap it or you can go chop, karate chop. And so that is faster EFT. And so all of these tools, the goal is to calm our nervous system down. That's because when our nervous system is activated, what happens is our primal brain takes over and we cannot access our prefrontal cortex, any of the logical thinking, any of the planning that is based on reasoning and thinking, it's shut down. And so what we're trying to do is once we use these techniques, we're going to calm ourselves down so that our prefrontal cortex can go back online so that we can think about how we want to solve this problem. How do we want to feel? So that will be the next step. But this step right here is to put up that stop sign so that we can calm our nervous system down. So if at any point in time, if let's say any of the techniques you're trying to do it and it's not working or you have, if you have any questions, I would love for you to just send me a message so that I can respond to it as best as I can. This is all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Until next time.